All right, I'm gonna show you what's inside the Genius sprinkler head here, the ear green sprinkler head. See a nice little cap ear green on there. This one was pulled out as part of a retrofit. The new heads, I guess, have a couple different electronic components, but the basics of working is the same. Let's show you the box. So they come packaged in this big beefy box. And then uh, it just has ring of foam in the bottom, foam like that on top, some finger holds to pull to pull it out of the box. Pretty self-explanatory for that. But these six of these sprinkler could come in a gigantic box. I mean, it takes up a lot of space. Probably, you know, I could fit a hundred. No, I could fit. Yeah, I could fit about a hundred heads in the same as this. So let's get into deconstructing this. This top cap does turn off. Um, they do have a screw in here on the new ones. The old ones I did not for some reason. So that's that. Little cap threaded on the inside here. And uh, there's threads here, right here on the inside and uh, a little lip that goes on. There's a small lip right here on the head itself and they're threaded on this. Let's see if I can pull. Now the nozzle comes out and that rides in there. The nozzle, it's got ports. Larger for the top, that's gonna spray the farthest distance and they're staggered like that for the reason that you can see they kind of go through and go around. Um, let's take a look at that. I have a security bit set. Hopefully we got a, a bit that will fit these. There we go. Take a little look at inside the nozzle. I'm always enthralled by new nozzle designs. And this is actually an injection molded three piece nozzle. And they have to make it in three pieces um, for the inside, I'm guessing. I haven't taken one of these apart yet, so I'm just as uh, excited to see what's inside as you guys. Just say something if I ramble on. Can assume the, the screws themselves are stainless um, because they're obviously you know you don't want them to rust and uh, so this is the halves you can see the vents right there and they line up and so as the water is pushed through you know the larger ones I don't know the degree of travel it's probably designed to, you know, get an even distribution of water at different pressures. Probably, I know it's designed to do that. Um, works all right. There's the other side. It's a little bit bigger, you know, because it's got the the top side is bigger. But, you know, same kind of curving motion to straight motion. For even water distribution. Drop one of the screws there. Let's get that set aside. And like I said, there is a screw that goes into the center of the top. It's molded into pieces because you just wouldn't be able to mold it in one piece. And then Under that piece in here, there is, so this actually comes up, and that's where the nozzle sits, the front of the nozzle sits in there. 
And there's the threaded where the cap sits on top. There's the screen. And I'm told it matters the direction that it's put in. The new ones have uh, mar marks, hash marks. But uh, I already got this sealed open. But uh, the pigtail here for the wiring is actually longer. This one's cut out, of course, but it does have that much stripped on it. Oh, that's fun. I didn't know there were ball bearings inside this. So, I guess there's bearings. Probably stainless um, that were, they all fell out of this ring here. And my guess would be they help it rotate, right? What do any bearings do? So they seem to rotate on there and that's probably you know, rubber rubber o-ring here to seal through the shaft as it comes up um, the gear here is gonna rotate the head actually there's another rubber o-ring on the bottom large one so I guess those are to actually help and aid in the rotation of this gearing See if I can put my channel locks down. Let me grab my pliers. There we go. So that, well, that's one way to take something apart. Gearing, I'm guessing that's a little electric motor. We'll see when we take that apart. You know, the bearings we're riding on here. Why they're there, it doesn't seem well. Here I found the interesting thing is so that these lines in the shaft of the head itself line up with those marks and the tower, I guess we'll call it. Uh, they're both O-ring there, O-ring. So everything all in here is O-ring sealed. There is a spring on the inside. Now most of the time on irrigation heads, the spring will go around the outside. Let's see if we can get that. Bring that it just inside a little bar there in the middle that it comes up probably stainless again because everything's all encapsulated uh, there's a small swivel here at the bottom I don't know if you can see that I want to get this I want to get this open one size bigger I want to see the motor and the valve and such. There we go. Thread piece in the bottom. This whole compartment, green plastic. This is a fragile piece that I have broke a couple right there another o-ring on the bottom to seal that um, you'll see just your standard well, let's see if we can't get this wire out we might not we might just have to cut the wire There we go. So, 
we got the wire out. Now there's two motors in here. Looks like they're identical. Um, small motors. Looks to be geared identical. And then the large gear. I don't know if is that the same size as nope, that's a smaller size than actually the rotation of the head. But that opens and closes the ball valve. Um, this is the ball valve right here. So let's see if I can coax. It only goes in one direction, I do know that, for rotation and they're not multi-directional motors. Rotation and, well the ball valve might just go back because it has to close or it just keeps, no, because it's a quarter turn ball valve, opens, closes. So it's probably just cheaper to get pre-made hole gears. There's a screw there, take the gear off. I know to Toro is in the process of developing a similar product. Hunter has looked at a product. I think that uh, washer just fell out from in between there. Just a little bushing. Pushing washer to ride on. Um, there's the swivel. I don't know if I mentioned the swivel that uh, holds the spring so the head can rotate and uh, turn with the swivel. Little peg post on there. This is all plastic. Um, plastic valve, plastic post. The inside of the ball valve is also plastic. Um, probably cheaper on cost. The motors themselves are mounted in, so is the circuit board. The back's like sealed with some coating that I just flaked off. Feels like a almost silicone film they put on on the board itself. Probably not to disrupt any of the electric. You can see me just peeling that off. Um, this part, uh, both these green parts are just probably glued into a standard valve, off the shelf valve that they're getting and putting in there. Um, the magic is going to help in the circuitry, of course, and I'm not an electrical guy looks like they got some posts to program it you know some uh they can disconnect and rebuild valves i guess if they want and that's so basic the concept is you know they have a wheel on there and then it has a gear because this is the bottom of the head so this gear that was attached here you know, run by the motor right there. It's gonna open and close your valve more or less as it rotates. Um, reactivity, I don't know how fast or numbers and such like that and how it should work. But uh, pretty much all I can tell you about it. Cool product cool kind of concept. Let's see if uh, Toro comes out with something similar here within a couple of years. Let's see if I can put it all back together again. Let's put Humpty Dumpty back. But uh, so far, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate the views have any questions about this or any other irrigation just let me know